facilitator for the Cross-Institutional Library Mentoring Program. My role is to assist the libraries to coordinate the program and to provide uh, the training preparation sessions and to facilitate the networking sessions and coordinate the evaluation process. The Cross-Institutional Library Mentoring Program is based on what's described in the literature as a high facilitated mentoring model. In low facilitated mentoring, an individual mentee is matched with an individual mentor and they may meet a number of times and really that's the total experience for the mentee. In contrast, a high facilitated mentoring program has a number of formal stages. Both the mentees and mentors apply to be part of the program and then there is a selection process where a panel chooses applicants that they think will be suitable for that particular program. Mentees and mentors are then matched according to both what the, the mentees want to particularly get out of the program but also a little bit of art is applied from the reference group in terms of trying to get a good match between the two personalities, experiences, etc. found that there was a surprising number of similarities between the issues that we faced even though she worked behind the scenes and I had very much a frontline role as a subject librarian. I think we were an excellent match. We hit it off straight away. Then the mentees and mentors both attend uh, a preparation session. And this is important because both groups need to have a clear understanding about what mentoring is how it will differ from other relationships they may have in the workplace or across the sector, and how to structure a mentoring partnership to get the most out of it. Probably one of the, the big benefits of being part of the uh, mentoring scheme was around, I think, really giving uh, employees of Melbourne a sense that they, you know, their personal development or professional development was really being invested in. I think just the fact that I've got a more positive approach to my work is a benefit to the organisation and I, I feel that I'm a bit more focused. From this moment on, uh, the mentees and mentors will meet regularly, a uh, minimum of once a month for at least an hour and a half. But as well, we conduct networking sessions. Three times over the seven month uh, mentoring program period. We have guest speakers, uh, group discussion, and these provide a, a really important part to network with other people across the sector and discuss issues that are going on in the library sector other people as well during those sessions and have a chat to various um, people in various roles. It's always interesting yeah. to get that perspective of what other librarians are thinking about their careers and the library space. Hearing people's stories is actually important to finding out well how did this person get to this point and what did they do. For example as a subject librarian um, I'm often not aware of all the behind the scenes work that happens so seeing it from another perspective is actually really beneficial. At the end of the program, there's a formal closure process where mentees and mentor pairs meet for the final time and do a, a, a small evaluation exercise. And we bring people together for a formal uh, evaluation focus group and final thank you uh, afternoon tea and celebration. It's also worth noting that our approach within the mentoring partnerships are about a learning-centred mentoring approach, which means it's mentee-driven. The mentor's role is to respond to this, to provide a sounding board, some navigation about these types of situations and experiences, career directions, etc. Being a mentor is not what you think it is. It's actually as much about learning about yourself as it is about learning about what the mentee has to do with. Challenges aside from the distance factor, because I was actually paired with somebody who was uh, quite a distance away from me, so we organised ourselves to meet before the workshops, which was really good. 
time to network. A lot of people would kind of, you know, just separate and go back to either their own institutions or their own kind of job families. I think maybe a bit more clarity around the expectations for those sessions would be useful um, and a bit more instruction uh, about how to network. Both the mentees and mentors in the evaluation report gaining a whole lot of uh, skills and experiences from these programs and that enables us to successfully attract mentors back into the program each year and also provides a stepping stone for mentees who may then go on and become mentors and this is an important sort of foundation principles in successful mentoring programs to be a mentor again just to sort of cement what I learnt as a mentor um, and then I think I'll probably go as a mentee um, to see what it's like from the other side. My mentor and I kind of used I think the program to have a lot of really um, in-depth extended converse, professional conversations and I think part of that was um, me kind of you know looking at where I wanted to go. I really loved the program. Yeah, I had more to offer than what I thought I did. 